welcome back to the channel we've got some great news we got some great progress and we're finally getting somewhere I know you guys have been waiting and I've honestly you guys have changed the setup on this car multiple times I've been so busy and this build has taken way longer than I ever anticipated but we are getting closer and closer and hopefully today we're gonna be starting the car for the very first time I'm here at GP1 racing as you guys can see um, at GP1 Mark P builds transmissions and things like that so you can check him out I'll leave his uh, information down here he actually built the transmission on my Civic I'll add some clips in here so you guys can see so I'm here today at his headquarters and we've got Randy RS tech inside who's doing the wire harness um, so originally with this car I was going with AEM Infinity and now I'm going with Motec Motec is pretty much the best of the best that you can get. So I'm excited to hopefully hear this car start up today. He's inside right now uh, working on the harness and pretty much getting all these sensors and all this stuff plugged in. Um, so we're getting we're getting pretty close. I'm super excited and if all goes well, the startup goes well, we're going to be dynoing within the next uh, week or so and then I'm going to be testing within the next two weeks. So I'm so excited to finally hopefully be behind the wheel. Um, let's go inside and see what Randy's doing. We've got my car over here, and we've got Randy. Hi, Randy. Hello. He's working on some stuff over here. What What are we doing right now? TPS sensor you needed. What is it? Oh, this is a TPS sensor? Mustang TPS we use on with the throttle Ross body. throttle body. So we've got my car over here. I haven't shown you guys much stuff in a while, but um, you guys have seen that I upgraded the turbo, and had to redo some piping and tons of little things. So Randy's here gonna be wiring everything up so I went with the Motec M150 he's pretty much just trying to get everything wired in and we'll see if we can start it up and then eventually we'll clean everything up and we've got the little board over here that he's gonna be pretty much mounting everything on so I'm excited to see the final look really just to hear it start it's been like two years since I've heard this thing start and even then it was naturally aspirated so it's gonna sound completely different I'm really excited we have Adriana here who has been amazing and has helped me so much with all my work. You guys probably have seen her on the channel, saw her racing at the no prep event. So she's been helping me out with a lot of stuff. Um, tons of little things that I need to wrap up. I still have freaking speakers in this car. So I've got a, I've got a lot of little things I got to do. Take these, oops. I take these door panels off. <laughs> this one doesn't even have the speaker in it, but this side, I believe still does. Right? This is the side that I had opened and the speaker was still in there. Yeah, the speaker's in there. So got all the weight, nothing's cut in the back. Yeah, I've got a lot of stuff I gotta do. We've got OEM speakers still in this door. So, for right now, I'm pretty much just gonna leave the car as is and just test this way, but eventually I'm gonna have to cut the car. Never cut it before, so I'm pretty much full weight right now. I have all of my windows still, so I wanna eventually change all this out to Lexan and make the car lighter. But for right now, I'm just trying to get some seat time, and from there, while we're trying to get a better ET, I can go ahead and make some changes to the car. Right now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and remove the rear tires, because I have some M&H tires that I'm going to be changing to, which we got over here. Brand new set of uh, skinnies for the rear, so I'm going to switch those out, and then um, we'll just let Randy do his thing and see if we can... Get this thing started up today or tomorrow. So right now I'm moving both of the rear wheels. I'm getting ready to go next door where they're going to swap out these tires. Right now these are used tires. And I got a brand new set of new tires. So I'm going to get those mounted on and ready for Be helping me where it's all eating up pretty much again these are used wheels that i bought off of a brim and um again i got a new set of m to match the front slip so we're going to replace these these still about to use but a lot of rubbing we've got my m and tires mounted on i'm gonna put these back on and then um brandy what are we doing next what we got? What are you working on? Wiring, ground, <laughs> grounds and powers. So now we're to the grounds and powers. Grounds and and powers. Thanks, Mr. Clean. Soon to start to power up. 
We're getting there. We're getting pretty close. He thinks we're gonna start it up today, so we'll see. Pretty excited. It's, it's a lot of pressure. <laughs> So here I have the FCS rear trailing arms that I did an install on. If you guys haven't checked this video, be sure to check it out. I'll leave it right here so y'all can um, see. You guys can see the brake line that connects to the staging brake. We've got all that done. Um, so we're pretty much wrapping things up. So I got my new tires mounted on, got the wheels on. I'm gonna torque those down. And right, right now Randy is gonna work on the kill switch that's gonna go in the back to cut all the power off of the car and then he's gonna also work on wiring up these tail lights so we can get those running and we're just moving along i gotta also take off these door panels again this car was a street car so i have tons of stuff that really doesn't belong in here and need to be in here so got a lot of little things i gotta remove and then once he's done done we got my oem dash over here which eventually i'm gonna replace with a carbon fiber one but for now we're just gonna stick with uh the oem look i just wiped it down Still got this old sticker that I put on. It's so crazy. I don't even sell this anymore, but I'm gonna keep this on. Remember my streetcar days. Also, I got a new race suit that came in. So I'll try that on so you guys can see. I'm super excited. I got my helmet, my shoes, my gloves. We're pretty much set and ready to go to the track. So all that's left is for Randy to finish installing the brains on this thing. All right, so we got Randy over here drilling a hole in my firewall. What are we doing this for? Uh, engine harness comes through. So the mill spec connector mounts here. Cutting through about 17 layers of Bondo right now. Oh my gosh. So while he's doing that, I'm going to show you guys the rear. Look at that. We got an on and off switch here. I like, I like. And behind him, we have. My race suit. I'm gonna go try this on. Let's let's try this on right now. All right, so I got a race suit on. And this thing is freaking big. With these pants I'm gonna have to switch out. Everything else seems fine, but this is pretty funny. I should go practice. Practice putting it on. I should go practice running around and, and sweating my butt off because that's what's gonna happen. Here's Joanna in her suit. Suit it up. I'm already sweating, and I'm not even doing anything. <laughs> the sun's not out. Literally. So we think that she should go run a couple miles to get an idea of what it's like. <laughs> I feel like a guy. Yeah. <laughs> Sweating my butt off right now. <laughs> and we've got a hole in my firewall. Yikes. This is the Ethernet port for the MoTeC comms cable. This one will talk to MoTeC. This one will talk to the AIM dash, which we'll put here.
guys so quick little break here i just want to hop on to really do a quick recap with you guys so right now we're just kind of testing everything making sure everything's wired up right just kind of going over everything uh before we do the first startup obviously i'm not going to fully start the car right now we're going to just prime it make sure we hear the fuel pump turn on make sure we hear the water pump turn on make sure everything's working um we do have engine oil ready in the car the transmission already has oil in it so hopefully after we look over everything and we know things are good to go we can go ahead and do my first full startup which i am extremely excited for it has been a long 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 journey those of you who have been on the channel for a while know this and finally i mean it's probably been about two years in building this car i'm going to be hopefully starting it today dynoing it within the next two weeks and hitting the track to do some testing so man i'm nervous i'm happy i feel so many emotions at once but um out of all of them i'm honestly grateful i'm extremely grateful to be a part of this community and have so much help um all of my friends pretty much have just put hands on this car and i'm just grateful to have so many awesome people in this car community that's one of the number one things i could say about the car world is that everyone is really super caring and just want to help one another it isn't always the case unfortunately but um many of us just want to see each other do good and i'm grateful to have an awesome team behind me i've got mark in there i've got randy i've got adriana they have helped me i've had rob maps put hands on the car who has also helped me jbr engines i mean endless amount of people who have pretty much helped me get to where i'm at today and i'm just forever grateful for everyone's time and dedication and i know everyone's pretty much excited to see me Go down the track and i just hope uh i can make everyone proud in the future <laughs> happy to be where i'm at today and i just want to thank every single one of you guys for supporting me for watching this video for supporting the channel for sticking around for believing in me for whatever reason that you're here thank you if you're watching this video i appreciate you all so so much um i'm about to go back inside and you guys are gonna be able to hear the car start for the very first time <sighs> gonna try not to shed a tear but um, I'm a little emotional right now because you guys have no idea um, just how long this journey has been. Stressful, headaches, and I haven't even started racing yet. <laughs> so this is just the beginning, but at least now, you know, whenever we have problems, whenever things come along, things should be a tad bit easier now that the car is in one piece. I basically started from scratch in a way. This car was already K-series. It was naturally aspirated, so um, obviously I made huge changes, but... Um, yeah, so let's go inside and hear this thing start for the first time. <laughs> Six hours later. All right guys, so day two here. Unfortunately, we did not have the car started up yet because we ran into a few um, small issues, but that's typical when you're doing things like this. So we're just working through those issues right now. Um, so fortunately, I'm, I had problems with my fuel pump and my fuel cell. So pretty much uh, those two things we're working on right now. It looks like my fuel cell may have a leak in it so adriana kind of cleaned it out my fuel cell as you guys saw earlier and um <laughs> we pretty much just threw a little band-aid on it for right now i do have to get it repaired um very soon but just to get the car started we're trying really really hard so we've got that outside um and right now i'm getting ready to go ahead and mount the dash mount my shift light and things like that and we have randy over here working on a few things um He's doing a good job killing it. We've got tail lights and stuff working. We've got a fancy new uh, battery charger that he uh, upgraded for me. <laughs> I'm actually remote to the kind of the car. Right In the meantime. Okay, so he's actually he's multitasking over yeah, here. Yeah, multitasking. So um, but we're we're getting there. We're getting there right now. Here's my new battery charger. Look at this. Where's it at? So he basically took off. Those little clamps that these typically come on and got this like a little plug so yeah so right now again i don't know what's going on with my fuel pump we're gonna have to get that looked at so mark just left to go pick up a new one and we're well, not a new one we're gonna actually borrow one from a friend so we're gonna just pretty much trying to do what we can just to get the car started and see if there's anything else we need to fix and at least from now after today we'll pretty much know what i need to order what needs to be done next and things like that but our goal is just to try to get the car started because Randy actually flies out tomorrow. So and now what I'm working on is I'm going to mount the shift light onto here and then create a little hole so I can put the plug in. And then we'll go ahead and be able to install my aim dash. So after this, Randy's going to 
clean a few things up that are inside of the car and then from there we can put the dash back on but he's still working out a working out a few little bugs here and there got the switch panel already mounted on this is pretty cool i like it a lot super cool hopefully we tighten this really really good because i remember when i first drag race these dashes always fly out so i need to make sure i put every single bolt back in before um this comes flying at me but we're getting getting places making some progress right now so let's go ahead and get this mounted and then let's we'll see if we end up starting the car again So we have the dash back in. I've got the AIM Sports dash mounted on. We got the shift light on. So ready to just put the switch panel back on. So things starting to look back like a car inside of here. And we've got Mark doing some stuff up there. What are you doing? Finalizing some wires. Finalizing some wires. The Mark way. <laughs> and then we're gonna put um, some fuel back in hopefully our little band-aid that adrian and i put on there um works just for the startup so we don't have any more fuel leaks oh i can barely even see with this wheel this wheel is definitely not permanent i'm gonna end up changing this No, they're okay. They're okay? Yeah, they don't care. They're just like a turbo oily. So keep going. Is that a do what? Hang on. <laughs> just the sound of that makes me excited. <laughs> All right, we've got some fuel going in. Brandy, what fuel are you running? You're running Ignite Red right now. All right, so we're gonna prime this fuel pump. Do I just hold it or just press turn it? Turn it on. Turn it off. Brandy's work here is done. Brandy, this is how um, this is how you travel? Well, yeah, when I gotta, <laughs> you gotta bring it as much as I can. TSA is gonna be like, what in the world? <laughs> oh, this chick gets checked every time I fly. So unfortunately, we did not get to start the car, but hopefully, um, we ran into a few problems with the fuel pump, like I stated earlier. So, what are we doing right now, Randy? What's going on? Uh, we just put everything back in. Um, Got everything nice and neat and organized. Look ECU's at that. mounted, PDM is mounted, switch panel, everything's mounted now. Um, no fuel pump, so since we don't have a fuel pump, we could not run it. But other than that, we just did Watch a check this. out of all the systems we could. This is just a general MoTeC screen. You also have a PDM which tells you all the voltages and currents of uh, the outputs and stuff, so it's pretty cool. So we're pretty much, well you're pretty much done, we just got I'm some work to do. so we can get a fuel pump and then we'll uh, do a remote test this week. Yes, I'm and excited. I'll come back down and we'll... That was a little tease with the little, you know, almost yep. starting it. Yep, yep. It got me excited for a minute. Then Tried the... two of them and we had Literally. two bad ones. Different reasons. Two different fuel pumps. So two different reasons. I guess it wasn't meant to start up this this weekend, but that's all right. Things happen and we're working towards doing what we need to do to get it started. Until we start up and then we'll see what else we'll do. Yeah, I know, well, right? <laughs> so what we'll do is when he gets a, when you get a fuel pump or even if he's here, we'll just do a startup to check it. And then we'll uh, actually plan out the next thing. Yes. Thing. Mark, thank you so much for all of your help. I appreciate you making everything look nice and neat. Came out really good. So I guess we'll get a new fuel pump. Put that in. We're going to test one tomorrow. Uh, yes. He's going to let us borrow one. Yep. While we, while we get the other one repaired, and then we'll go from there. Yeah. Luckily, JBR has, for some reason, multiple fuel pumps. <laughs> so I'm going to borrow 
Probably two of them because we had two this time and neither one of them worked. And I don't know why, especially if mine was brand new. It makes no sense, but. Well, one was nitro corroded. Yeah, so we can't go off of that one. So we'll see. So that's pretty much it for this video. Fortunately, I didn't get to start up, but we will look out for the next one. I am ready to hear it. See if it actually uh, behaves for me today and starts up. Let's see if this actually uh, works this time. 